Hi everyone, it's Rachel and in this video I'm going to be showing you what we received in the January Sophie and Toffee Elves box as well as showing you how to make these three tarot card designs. So in this month's box we received a blank card mold, miniature card molds, this mold with a wand cup sword and pentacle design, gold holographic tarot card film, large card backing film, medium size card backing film, miniature size card backing film, clear shaker film, UV resin, and then the premium add-ons included these three silicon molds with lots of different tarot card designs. So now let's move on to the tutorial. When I was first getting started, I have to admit that I don't really know much about tarot cards and I was trying to work out which designs to go with and what card name and I was kind of Googling it, but then I realized that it's literally on this holographic film. So this is what I was going to use as a reference. To begin, I took the blank tarot card silicon mold and I'm firstly going to be making the Earth or World tarot card. So I took a range of supplies that I already had, including different glitters and shells and sand and dried flowers because I was going to try and make a very natural earthy looking card design. I firstly began off with this black holographic powder and I just used the eyeshadow applicator to apply this to the name part of the mold. Then using the UV resin I filled up the bottom of the mold and I began applying some of the seashells and the little pebbles as well as the black deco sand and the star sands that I had. Then because I'm using UV resin, here I'm curing it under my UV lamp. Next I added some more of the resin around the sides of the mold and I started placing in the other glitters and the little gemstone pieces that I had. I then went ahead and took these dried flowers and filled up the rest of the mold and placed them in. To create a black backing for my card, I poured some of my resin onto a piece of baking paper and then I made a mixture of sand as well as some black and dark silver glitters and I mixed these all together really well. Then I just put this into the mold and cured it under my lamp. Now I'm going to be making the card design for the Sun Tarot card. So here I took a bunch of warmer colored glitters, including pinks, oranges, and golds. This time I'm going to be using a gold holographic pigment and I'm just using the eyeshadow applicator to apply this to the part of the mold. Next I poured in my UV resin around the edges and I began adding all my different little embellishments and I just continued to cure the resin in between each layer. For this card design I created a white backing so I added a few different white iridescent glitters together as well as some white liquid pigment and I mixed this all together before placing it into the mold and curing it. The last tarot card I'm going to be making is the moon. So here you can see I've taken lots of silver, blue and purple glitters. Here I'm just using a silver holographic powder and again I'm applying it to the name part of the mold. 
I then also applied a few other different pigments around the card before pouring in my resin and then adding all of my glitters. So once each of my card designs had been cured and demolded, I then took this UV varnish sealer from Sophie and Toffee and I just brushed it all over the front of the card to make it nice and shiny. And this also gets rid of the frosty look that the mold gives the cards and it just makes the colors really bright and vibrant. Of course, because this is a UV sealer, I then used my lamp to cure the resin and I also put them out in the sun as well. Next, I cut the words from the holographic film. So I took the sun, the moon and the world and I'm just going to be applying these into the name slots using the UV sealer. On each one, I also added the little card number as well and I used the original holographic film that I showed at the start of the video as my reference. Next it was time to add the backing onto the cards so I took the large holographic film and I just cut the pieces to size and then I applied these onto the back of the cards using the UV sealer and then I also added a final dome over top with some UV resin as well. Now it's time to create the little dangling pieces that are going to go inside the tarot cards. So I'm going to be using this mold here, which includes all three of the sun, world and moon pieces, which I'm going to be needing. I'm starting off with the world design. And for this one, I'm using some purple iridescent pigment powder, as well as some silver holographic powder. Even though this is for the earthy card design, I tried to steer away from natural colors so that it wouldn't blend into the background too much. Then here you can see I'm making the moon design and I'm trying to create a gradient between the sun and the moon in this design. So I started off with this light yellow pigment in the center and then on the sun kind of side, I added a more gold pigment and then on the moon part of the mold, I added this bluey purple glitter and then I just tried to blend them all together to make an ombre effect. Finally, we have the sun. So around the outside in the rays, I added this very dark like bronze pigment powder. And I also tried to create a gradient in the center of the sun by using a lighter gold color and then finally that bright yellow powder. It was then time to add in the resin. So in the sun and moon design, I added some white resin, which I had mixed together with some pigments. And then in the earth design, I decided to use a black resin to help the colors pop a little bit more. Next up is time to make it so that these little pieces can dangle inside the cards. So here I'm taking my little hand drill from Sophie and Toffee and I'm holding it very awkwardly on this angle to try and drill a hole into the top of the card. I then took these gold eye screws and I used my pair of pliers to screw these into the little hole that I just made. Next, I added a chain to the earth design first, and then I used a link to attach it to the eye screw. I then just repeated this process also with the moon and the sun card designs. Lastly, it was time to add the shaker film to the front of the card. So I took the shaker film and I peeled the plastic off both sides. Then I cut three pieces the same size as the tarot cards and I stuck these down using my UV sealer. I then also did a final dome of UV resin over top to make the card nice and smooth and shiny. So 
So here are what my finished tarot cards look like once they're completely done. When I first opened up this elves box, I wasn't sure what I was going to make and I really was lacking some inspiration because I didn't really know much about this topic. But looking at these final pieces, I'm really happy with the way they turned out. And I also love how the pieces dangle inside the cards too. I think the world card is probably my favorite, but let me know down in the comments which one you like the best. Here you can also see how pretty the glitters look when they're out in the sun as well. So thank you so much for watching and I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel for lots more crafty videos and I'll see you next time. Bye guys!